With chants that they will sacrifice all to gain the South, the UAE-backed Southern Transitional Council celebrate. They say they've taken control of Socotra's capital, Hadibo. We are proud of our forces, which have marched to this camp and have taken control of the government headquarters, the governor's office, and the security headquarters. The city of Adibo is under control of the southern authorities. Once allies in Yemen's war, the Saudi-backed Yemeni government and UAE-backed STC are battling for control of the island off the Horn of Africa. The Saudi Emirati coalition alleged it had stepped in to support the legitimate government, but we all came to know that they are here for their own greedy agenda, namely to control our islands and strategic maritime routes. The STC militias have launched an all-out attack with medium and heavy weapons. They're violating state sovereignty and targeting civilians. Famous for its serene waters and exceptionally diverse nature, Socotra is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. But it's also a strategic location. The island has a military base and it lies in a key intersection of shipping routes between North Africa and Yemen. The United Arab Emirates, which has been helping Saudi Arabia fight Houthi rebels in Yemen, sent troops to Socotra two years ago. Tensions further escalated in April, when the STC announced self-rule in regions under its control in Yemen. Yemen's government says the latest action is an aggressive attack on the population. As government forces and the STC remain divided, so too do many local people. Last year, hundreds marched to demand UAE forces leave Socotra, accusing them of occupying the island. Others threw their support behind the STC, who say they only want to bring peace. Laura Berdan-Manley, Al Jazeera.